we've observed over the past couple of years that there have been more of these cases. Uh, so we come to ask ourselves why. It, jurisdictional expansion is one reason, but companies are fighting for contracts. And in order to do that, it's not just initiation of litigation now that we've seen, but they are going to be persistent. Uh, they are not only going to file at one of the three forums uh, that are the options out there today, but they will seek, it's almost like an appeals process, but it really is a second bite at the apple. So if you start the protest process at GAO and somebody is unsuccessful, they're not just going to give up. They'll follow on with a subsequent round of litigation now at the Court of Federal Claims. So instead of these cases just starting and stopping, more of them, there are now multiple rounds of fighting uh, for who is the awardee of the same procurement. companies are more willing to fight for every last procurement dollar that's out there, but it's also had an impact on the nature of the issues that we have been fighting over, and also where uh, areas where the agencies have made more mistakes. Cost or price has become more and more a deciding factor uh, in who wins an award decision. This is where agencies, uh, a lot because of inexperience of the acquisition workforce, don't understand how to do the evaluations properly, so it's ripe with errors. Uh, but it also becomes more of a critical factor nowadays for companies. You can't just win on the merit, technical merit, past performance or experience uh, that you've had doing work for that customer in the past. Well, price can be a, a varying weighted factor in procurement, so it's hard to give a bottom line um, piece of advice on, on how to consider this. We typically have to advise companies to understand how price is a factor in a procurement up front. So when they're reading a solicitation, they see what weight it's going to be given, uh, and then know to reach out to us to help challenges. Some of them, if they're about the terms of a solicitation, you actually have to to initiate litigation before the proposals go in. And so if a company makes a mistake and doesn't appreciate an issue, they've lost the opportunity to challenge it.